because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn! Is there any way to prevent it? It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. That witch! She took my clothes! Let me out. Let me out. Eric Andre. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, we're getting nowhere. Uh, master. Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. Oh, good. Guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. All right. Right under the bed. <laughs> what are you playing around with? Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Oh god, no. Not Ocelot. I thought we were done. Okay. I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. 
When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? All right, do your worst. <laughs> <sighs> How did you like that? Shall we go again? Ah! Uh, so much health. Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet. If I said yeah, would you stop? Society. Totalitarianism. Perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the <clears> Russian <throat> government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. All right, got to get out of here. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah. Thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torch machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. And now we wait. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Ooh. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. The 
was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No, there was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. But that's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry. I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. I must have had Taco Bell. Snake, don't worry. You'll have a chance to escape. Hang on. Hallelujah, Otacon. Hey, I'm here. Where? It 
Ghost's name? Otacon. She wants to see the solid snake. <laughs> My mug brother. As I live and breathe. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> hey, when she wants to see the solid snake, you show her the solid Jeez. snake. <laughs> it's like an animal's cage. What a smell. Not because of him. It's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. <laughs> this lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Oh good, ketchup. Everyone knows how much I love ketchup. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. He likes the doggos. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, geez. He's coming back. See you later. What I just said. Ah, oh, Otacon. All right, we're getting the hell out of here. That's better. I'll never see the cats upcoming. We wait. It's the perfect plan to get out of. What the hell? Right. Come check on me. Ah. Ah. Oh, not again. Oh. <laughs> Taco Bell. Me in. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, the Colonel, he'll know what to do. Snake, wait a minute. You forgot to take your items. They're probably being kept somewhere close by. <laughs> Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Product placement at Taco Bell. In Chorito, Macho Burrito. <laughs> That's one cheer, cheer, cheer. All right.
Taco Bell, you've done it again. You got me out of a sticky situation. We go to the night night gun. <laughs> Oh my god. Cameras with guns. They're everywhere. <laughs> yes. But I almost forgot, since my mug brother is here, that's a customary... Hey, you guys! <laughs> How you do, my mug brother? Oh my god, items. What brings you here to the stream so very late, or so very early, depending on your point of view? <laughs> Just in time for the Metal Gear lore. It was Taco Bell that saved me that day. And I've never stopped ordering in Chirito Macho Burritos ever since. Huh. weird my uh, uh, one of my many brains keeps reverting to uh, PlayStation 1 Metal Gear it gets me killed every once in a while I go up go me. up <laughs> not much just schooling the noobs online the usual oh hell yeah I keep feel bad how hard I troll. <laughs> Low key feel bad. <laughs> I think that's what you meant to say. <sighs> Gotta show them the way. <laughs> then kids can't get off easy. <laughs> nah, hi. <laughs> Perfect. It was exactly as he said. Like me and these guards. Someone's got to put them in their place. Show them the ropes. Good the book. Why are you late with your status report? Communication from level B called the tanker. Post. I'll have your encounter there. Snake, there's a bomb planted in your items. Hurry, throw it away. Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough. Oh, God damn. A bomb? Snake, get that bomb out of your items. Select the bomb in the equipment window and press the enter button to throw it. Hurry, throw it away. Uh, bomb, bomb. Oh, God. Well. Ow. That was a close one, Snake. Lost a lot. You'll pay for that. That Deep Throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. 
to see an informer. Maybe some kind of renegade. I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. We hide. Clear. Oh no. Oh Clear. no. Oh, thank God. We hang out. <laughs> but oh man. Did you manage to get into the uh, MK1 uh, beta? Or about what? Two months away? Officially? We're in July now? Uh -uh. No, let's keep this guy asleep. Uh oh, uh oh. Hit him in the brain. The big brain. We're good. I did not. I've been following all the drama with Sonic Fox and such. Uh oh. Super funny stuff. Did he like help make the game or something and people are complaining? Or is he god tier and everyone's like, this is too good, that's too good. Alright, they're gonna nerf it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there's something in there. If only I had a Stinger missile launcher. Ah. The Socrats. Camera.
<laughs> like I fought with myself so much. Ultimately, I decided I'll get in the elevator. Huh? Who's there? No one. You saw nothing. New plan. Get the guy who stands still. Oh god. Just go to sleep. There we go. I only wasted almost all my ammo, but... Sonic Fox called the bluff and he threw down 10k. If he lost, if the other guy lost, he would have he would adjust. He would have to adjust at adjust to a furry. Too long didn't read. The other guy lost and the internet labeled him a furry because he was such a poor sport. <laughs> the whole thing. Damn. He couldn't even be a good furry. <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> How bad was it? And why would he ever challenge Sonic Fox? Don't you know that kid wins tournaments for a living? <laughs> Don't mind me, I just gotta come back into my snake hole. That just seems horribly irresponsible. Did like did they stream this? Tell me Sonic Fox has like the uh grudge match footage. I did it in my mandatory. Huh. Gotta get in the muscle, muscle workout. Get in where I fit in.
Now I gotta be fast. Like, very fast. Like, elevator, get here now fast. Huh? What's that? <laughs> I probably could have gone down to the B2. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, well. Another ration. Uh, so, were there any uh, actual stipulations? Is the new fairy guy like a. Uh, is he furry for life now? Does he have to, uh... Oh, hell yeah! Body armor? Hmm. Or, like, people, uh... Does he have to change, like, his, his Twitter handle? His, uh... A profile picture? His, his dating... Dating app? <laughs> like, how far does the rabbit hole go? Legally change his name? <laughs> I think Sonic Fox would be happy enough with the fact that the internet is like, he's a furry now. Kind of like that one scene from Anchorman. <laughs> if I can, I can pull in just as many viewers as you can. In fact, more. Oh, that's rich. Make it a bet. Fine. If I win. You have to retire forever. Oh, good, because I'm not. Freeze. <laughs> and if I win, you have to change your name to. What was it? I think it was like Jack Off or something. Legally. <laughs> R was like Dick Fuck or something like that. I forget what it was. It was some, something. Stupidly absurd. And he's like, alright, you're on, Burgundy. <laughs> ah, blimey. He triple Jack Blime's numbers. Who is this Ron Burgundy? <laughs> Put on the body armor. Hell yeah. Pentazan Sniper Rifle I could read what that said. <clears throat> but yep, check out the button check on YouTube. Button check on YouTube, he did the whole coverage on it. Super chill vibes. Okay. Uh, I'm familiar with that channel. Anytime there's the fighting game beef, or the drama, or... I'm not going to use my... That is Kojima-san. He is right there. Our Lord and Savior is right there. 
Glad you should all know. Oh, wait, my body armor. There we go. Oh, I feel safe. <laughs> oh man, I just, just still can't believe it. <laughs> Down Sonic Fox, ten grand. You lose. You have to become a furry now. You're on. <laughs> Becomes furry. <laughs> oh wait, I have a handkerchief. Sonic Fox is a great example of how what you are has no bearing on who you are. A fairy can be a world champion at esports, then I can be anything I set my mind to. <laughs> that is for damn sure. That is for damn sure. Seen that guy pick apart some of the best players from all around the world. There was only once I saw him razzled, and I think it was the first, the first year Dragon Ball Fighters was at Evo, and he was going up against the. Oh God! Wait. That was weird. It scared the hell out of me. He was going up against, I forget who it was, but it was like the Japanese champion, and he was losing, and then he iced the kicker, <laughs> and then he came back and won. Full reset. Mm -mm. Only, only he could lose that hard, and then ice the kicker, and then win that hard. <laughs> immediately after, like immediately after, it's like, oh no, I'm losing. This coach is like, Sonic Fox, did you try winning? No, no, Sensei, I'll try that right now. <laughs> And then he won. <laughs> but MK1 is too slow. I just noticed that. I got lost in the Sonic Fox. <laughs> <You're fucking. laughs> yeah. Sonic Fox is insanely good. He is what he is. <laughs> but respect on that skill. I was a fool. I was a soldier. He's the world's number one esports e furry. Nothing comes out of war. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Forget me. I'll try not to, Meryl. I'll try not to. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. <laughs> that quivering lip. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that. She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's no only regrets. natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kid yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. 
You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Things aren't adding up. It's interesting how different countries just excel, in general, in different sports. Like Italians and Spaniards dominate the MotoGP. East Asians are pretty scary at esports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be it. I guess Americans have football, basketball, <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess anyone could have water polo, lacrosse. <laughs> <laughs> Major League Soccer is pretty good this year. Oh, oh yeah. The memes, man. Every time the memes come out, I'm like, oh yeah. It's going to be all right. Though. <laughs> For USA, at least. Oh, that's good. That's about damn time. <laughs> Oh, oh, finally. Uh. Oh. All right, I'm at a quandary. <laughs> so here, here are my options. Go a little bit longer and put in the second disc of the Twin Snakes. Or, oh God, it's going to be three. Okay, maybe maybe not go with option A. <laughs> After looking at the clock and saying that it's going to be three. <laughs> uh, I think, I think here's a good spot to, to save, to call it a night. Oh, I probably have like another. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Usa? Who is Usa? <laughs> I've never heard of this Usa. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I'm thinking here's a pretty good spot. Ten things. It's, an, it's a natural break. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get another one of these where it's like, yo, dog, I'd love to let you keep playing, but... <laughs> <laughs> gotta stop. The only other natural break I can see is the credits rolling. <laughs> and who knows when I'll get to those. Probably like at 8, 9 in the morning, if I'm lucky. But, uh, yeah, it's been good. But I, I think the responsible thing is we call it here. Uh-uh. <clears throat> I probably I probably have like a solid five five more hours. I'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, uh, can't have a what did they say? Too much of a good thing. <laughs> All work and no play. 
You know, those are all reasons to just keep going. I gotta stop. Uh, the 12 brains are... They're trying to overcome my psyche. <laughs> Have me continue this adventure. Um, but... <clears throat> yes. I think it's time for me to choose sleep. <laughs> um, but Metal Gear Solid will return tomorrow morning? Oh man, if it's three, let me see. Oh yeah. Like if I go to sleep now and I wake up in exactly seven hours, I can do another stream into the afternoon and then take a nap. <laughs> We'll see it. We'll see how that plays out. Ah, thanks, there you go. It was fun. Hell yeah. It's always a good time when you're in the stream, Jesus, and my mug brother. Um, I'll try to be back in the morning, early afternoon. We'll say before noon. Uh, I should be able to beat Metal Gear Solid. Um, and then we'll see what happens over there. I know I got to play. I gotta play the Marvel's Avengers game because it's leaving um, PlayStation Extra, Xbox Game Pass, and then I'll have to buy it. And then I'll have to buy it. I don't wanna buy it. I just need to play it, get it out of my system. Uh, excuse me. And I also gotta play the Kitty Cat game. Kitty Cat game is leaving PlayStation, it's going to Xbox. <laughs> so, if I wanna get my money's worth. Uh, I might I might take a slight break from Metal Gear after the Twin Snakes, do Kitty Cat Game, do Marvel's Avengers, just the story mode, which I, which is probably like any other uh, uh, superhero superhero game, probably around ten hours or so. Uh, you get your hands on Dead Stranding. Well, it was free. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you about Dead Stranding, uh, Jesus. I don't think you were here when I played Dead Stranding. I have the Collector version of Death Stranding. I have my own BB. <laughs> but yes, I, I also have Death Stranding for free. <laughs> I, I also paid a lot, a lot of money <laughs> to get it not for free. <laughs> I missed it. Ah, oh, damn. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because I will, I will replay that game to get myself ready for Death Stranding 2. Which we have no idea when it's going to come out. My money is definitely on like late 2024 or mid 2025. It's probably going to be in between there, but we got we got some time to play some of the Kojima masterpieces. But yeah, I, I might I might even be crazy and and try to go for the platinum. Hmm. I might even it's not it's not that hard. People have told me. It's a lot of work, but it's not like stupid, crazy, crazy difficult. It's challenging, but it's it's doable. I'm like, hmm, huh. Because that's a game where we can have conversations up the wazoo while I go deliver the mail. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be good. Plus, I haven't played. Plus, I haven't played the director's cut. And I was waiting for something to give me a reason to play that. So. I also can't wait for it. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, so that's when we'll do the director's cut version of Death Stranding. We'll save it. We'll save it. I'm going to sit on it for like 9 to 12 months, hopefully at a minimum. Maybe 24 months maximum. And then we'll do that. That'll be a fun little game for like a month. And then we do Death Stranding too, which I have no idea. It seems like it takes place probably weeks maybe a few months maximum like a year or two after i think bb uh, is still a, a baby <laughs> uh -uh. so still still super super excited to play that especially if i do a platinum run oh boy <laughs> so much so much death stranding the death shall strand again <laughs> And kitty cat game. Um, what's the kitty cat game? Stray. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. The one about the uh, cyberpunk post-apocalyptic uh, gato. I gotta do that. It's, it's currently free. 
but if I take too long, it will no longer be free. <laughs> or actually, do I have it? For, I don't know. Maybe I have it for free. You know, I gotta, like, I really gotta look at this. I gotta check my backlog. Captain's log. Check notes on games I haven't played yet, but need to play. To go where no streamer has gone before. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll have to do that, but that game is also, I, I hear it's, it's quite short, but it's good and it's relaxing. And I, and I have wanted to play it. Uh, it's just, I haven't found the time and now's the time. <laughs> I'm playing Smash Online. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Oh, damn. Are you giving them the, uh, um, what's that, uh, rules are three stocks, no items. Oh, are you doing the, uh, are you and, uh, Yellow Enchilada doing the Link Danky, Danky Kang combo? <laughs> are you doing the, the, um, what's his name? Your, your, your Luchador Pokemon? Round start. I kill myself to make it a 3v2. <laughs> Damn. And you're still coming out on top? That's my mug, brother, everybody. <clears throat> and I just styled the whole way through. Damn. <laughs> Talk about getting in shape. Mind, body, soul, and the 12 brains. <laughs> He's keeping them all in peak, peak condition. <laughs> I've said to let myself go. But that ends today. Effective July 1st. I have to exercise the 12 brains. <laughs> I too can get back to prowess. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago that we used to have Smash Nights and Tekken Nights and Battle for the Grid Knights. Uh -uh. I should I should have a have a fight night this month. Uh -uh. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, Dead Stranding in the future, more Metal Gear Solid, and uh -uh. and about after about seven ish hours of sleep, um, maybe the cat game night, probably Sunday, uh, and then we'll see what happens for Merc a Day. Uh -uh. Still still. Figuring out if it's going to be a Jackbox or something else fun. Uh, we'll see what we, we'll see what we got, but we'll figure it out. But uh, on that note, huge, huge, huge shout outs uh, to Danger Zone 669, a.k.a. my mug brother, uh, for... Show me the money! <laughs> for being... Where is it at? For being the big bit chair king, he has actually, if I go to this, I think my thing's all reset because it's officially the first. God, time travel is weird. Um, there we go. I think as soon as I end the stream and start the stream later to tomorrow, today, uh, our goals will reset. I think. I'm not sure how that works, but uh, we're almost halfway to our cheer goals for my my uh, future purchase of mic stands and mics uh, for tabletop purposes and possibly future streams to come with uh, the stream homies. So, again... If you'd like to see uh, uh, the stream improve, uh, even just a little bit quality-wise, working on getting cameras and whatnot, starting with mics, they're the cheaper investment. Um, you know, everyone's subscription, donations, tips, bit cheers, uh, uh, gift subs, they all help out the stream. Uh, uh, and we've come a long way, and we've definitely hit our goals. I got to come up with some... With some with some swanky uh, uh, gold tiered reward things, I don't know. Maybe I spin a wheel of of doom. Maybe I send something to somebody uh, uh, who who 
who donates or subs. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I got some ideas. We'll talk about that later. Uh, again, just uh, doing some shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Letting you guys know about the stream. But um, <clears throat> yeah, be before it becomes looking like the early morning sun coming in to wake me up. Uh, again, huge shout outs to Jesus. <clears throat> my mug brother, Frollo. Nothing. My mod. My other mod, the first mod, Sancheesy. Um, everyone else that was lurking, Ark Boba Fett, uh, Keyway. They was in here for some Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid brings all the community members to the stream. They're like, God damn that Liquid Snake. <laughs> He's a drama queen. <laughs> they ain't wrong. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so there'll be more Metal Gear Solid <clears throat> to come. <clears throat> so I hope you are all getting ready for that. <clears throat> there are many games. Got to get ready for the remaster collection and the remake of Snake Eater. So <clears throat> on that note, <clears throat> it's time for what my number one mod, who used to have a dad bod, Dim Kara calls the Truman Show outro. So to everyone hanging out, I just want to say... No matter where you're watching from, I hope you'll have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <clears throat> I'm Eagle the Visual Culturist signing out, and I'll see you guys in a few hours for some more Metal Gear. <clears throat> Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes to be exact. And the Kitty Cat game and Marvel's Avengers before they go away. <laughs> but, okie dokie, bye bye Take care, Jesus. Get good, brother. You know I'm down for some some fights. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll keep I'll keep you I'll keep you posted. Uh, we also got to do more Cuphead. <laughs> we'll figure that out too. Uh, 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 we're like I swear we're like halfway done with DLC Island. <laughs> well, we'll get to that when you when you got some free time. Yes, that also. <laughs> Indubitably. Uh, but yeah, we'll 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 figure that out off stream. But um, yeah. Oh, and Vampire Savior is out on some. Oh, dude, we gotta try multiplayer on that. Okay, okay, hear me out. We finish Cuphead, and then we do a lot of co-op games, and then we gotta. What was it? Quest for Myth Force. We gotta do. We gotta finish up Cuphead, Myth Force, Vampire Saviors, probably Super Mario to one. The wonders uh, uh and <laughs> myth force <laughs> that's just, that is a straight up uh, uh that is our kind of game yes <laughs> exactly exactly uh there are many a many a games uh, uh nintendo has coming out they're all coming out soon but we will play them that warrior wear I like to move it, move it. <laughs> That's not what it's called. I just can't get that that song out of my mind. When uh, I think it's just Warrior Wear Move It or something like that. But it's funnier with the way I said it. <clears throat> not what you give, it's how you give it. But um, yeah, before I stay up for like another hour talking, gonna let y'all go. Uh, uh, you take care of my monk brother. You school them kids. <laughs> With your class and your stylish ways. And we'll see about getting you in for some Cuphead, some Myth Force, and some other Nintendo g -g -g games. <laughs> but until then, uh, uh, y'all take care. I will catch you all next stream. So until then, later. Peace.